Hi Sagittarius, it's Jane from Angels and Ancestors and this is your What The Fuck reading for the 23rd to the 29th of March. I've got no um, oh what was I going to say I've got never mind, doesn't matter, whatever it is it's gone, I haven't got any of those either, so darlings, um yeah, please like, share and subscribe. Leave me a message if you want to. Um, and thank you so much for being um, so good and looking on the channel for me. So lovelies, we're going to get straight into it. Um, what is the current situation? What started the what the fuck is this card here? And your first aspect, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back is that card. And then, Sagittarius, we have got your second aspect, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked. And then we have the journey card. Where the fuck you need to be. So then we have what you can do about the situation. And what you can't do about the situation for Sagittarius, please. I was just about to say what can Sagittarius not do about the situation and it just flew out of the deck. And then, my love, this the reconnecting to your true self. And then your outcome. What the fuck is happening next, Sagittarius? Okay, darling. So, what started your what the fuck, Sagittarius, was... The moon illuminated something. It illuminated truth or an untruth or a distortion um, or a pathway that has opened to you that you wasn't aware that was there or was being hidden for some reason has now come to light. But this definitely started the what the fuck. So it could be a truth or an untruth or something that was hidden from you for some time. So Sagittarius... Moving on from that, because that doesn't give us an awful lot, and I might have to um, verify that in a minute. But moving on to facing your fears and taking the fucking power back, darling. Whatever this was, I, I'm getting the feeling you was feeling quite entrapped by it. You was kind, kind of like stuck in your thoughts and feelings about it. But you are now kind of like going, oh, fuck that, I'm not being trapped any longer, I've had enough. And I'm going to go and play with these little forest fairies over the back. Um, I'm not getting a sense at all that you've trapped anybody. I'm getting that you are breaking free from a situation. And that is massively standing you in good stead for standing in your power. I don't think you're quite there yet. But I don't think it is far off of... Um, you just going, absolutely, I am fucking done. I am done. I am not dealing with this anymore. I don't want to be trapped. I don't want to be trapped in my thoughts, in my feelings. I'm going to send it out to the universe for it to be dealt with there. And I kind of get the feeling that that kind of power is something new to you, Sagittarius. Um, 
and it might take your breath away but go with it go with the flow of it because if you can get to the point where you go no fuck that I'm, I'm done you can then walk away and you're going to walk straight into your wish fulfillment and your manifestation which is this beautiful card of the earth mother now she contains the earth in her belly she is about fertility she is about nurturing she is about bringing things on and teaching things she's all about the young um and the up and coming so lovelies if your manifestation wish fulfillment is pregnancy or fertility um it's on the cards darlings i'm not going to say it's going to be easy because it is tilted but it is on the cards, especially once you've told everybody where to go. Um, you're also going to be able to bring um, immense abundance to everybody around you. So whoever's around you currently, if they're feeling a little bit out of salts, if they're feeling a little bit down in the mouth, you are going to be able to offer that to people around you. But just be careful that people don't drain your energy that they don't drain you of what you offer um it would be really easy for that to happen so your journey where the fuck you need to be darling don't we all need a bit of this in our life this is the horn god he can be male or female he is the protector of everything in nature and when you put him together with the earth mother my darlings you get a power couple so if you are in this energy, it is likely that you are going to draw this energy towards you. Now, isn't that wonderful? Now, this is somebody who is an advocate. They advocate for things in nature. They could just be living in the country, raising bees or doing whatever, but they they are massively, mass eco warriors is what i'm getting with this one and i'm kind of getting with the two saje male or female either one that things are going to start looking up for you massively massively now what you can do about the situation is accept this wholeheartedly because what you've got is a 10 and whatever this truth was this 10 of chalices tells us about the completion of a happy family and then the start of something new so when i laid this down i kind of got the feeling that maybe because of this illumination that the moon has given you that the completion of your family has has happened but it's given you a new lease of life with your family. Something has rekindled, something has restarted, and it is to do with this beautiful power couple. I'm kind of getting that you've counted your blessings and you think it's well worth fighting for. So what you can't do about the situations, darlings, and I swear to God, I think you've got something to do with Pisces because you're a bit pissed off about this cup. And I'm not sure you even want this cup that's being offered, but you, you look so PO'd at the moment um, that this cup is missing, but I'm not sure that you want it. Because right behind that, you've got the yes card. You can have it if you want it, but I'm not sure you do. And then right behind that, you are looking out with your three of wands overseas. So perhaps you're hankering after a yes, a go ahead for something overseas, either you going overseas or something overseas coming to you. Um, but I'm getting that there is communication on a regular basis about this. It's quick communication. It doesn't last long, but there is regular communication. You're going to be looking over your shoulder at something. Um, you're going to be walking away. You're going to start a new life. But you will be looking over your shoulder and looking at the life's lessons that you have learned on your pathway. And... 
And this is what I'm saying about this cup here. I don't think you want this cup. I don't think the time is right because you are turning your back and you're going down a new pathway, Sagittarius. Um, and it may mean that there's somebody or something that you feel that you have got to leave behind. Um, I don't get a sense that whoever or whatever this is, that they will begrudge you to leave them behind. I'm kind of getting that they want the best for you. They want you to come out of this, this mode and, and have this, this bit going forward. Um, I'm getting that they would massively protect you because the reconnecting to your true self. You have the standing stone. You are standing in your power. You're allowing the sun to beat down on you. You have got the scales um, in the middle that are in balance. There's no injustice. There's no imbalance. The labyrinth is there. So you may have a few false starts, but nothing major. Um, but you are massively protected. And I'm kind of getting that whoever it is that you may think that you may be leaving behind has put you in this mode. They have created this for you. So you are able to stand in your power. You are able to draw down the energy from the universe to be able to surge ahead um, and do what it is that you want to do. And it won't be in imbalance at all. It's going to be completely balanced. So we started off with this really dark, almost secretive thing. And we've come forward. And it's such a positive reading, Sagittarius. And then your outcomes, darling. What, what the fuck is happening next? Is this, you've got the four of thames, And it's telling you that you're going to kick back and think about things. And sort things out in your head. Before you actually make any moves at all. Because I, I get the feeling there's going to be a lot to process around this situation. Yeah, okay. And then straight after that you've got the eight of a theme is, which is do nothing. If in doubt, do not move. Stop. Think. Breathe. All of those things. It's okay to be still. It is okay for you not to see everything all in one go. It's okay for you not to have the ability to sort everything out all at once. You need to take your time. And that's what this message is about. Take your time. Think things through. Don't make a move unless you are absolutely certain that the outcome that is going to come from that move is the one that you want and is the one that is going to benefit you the most. So lovelies, we're going to turn to the angels and the ancestors for wisdom, knowledge and energy for the week ahead. So we have the night, be brave and honest. We have the Medicine Guardian, be, be open to healing information. We have the Stag, trust and thrive. And we have Winter, take care of your needs. So there you are Sagittarius, that's your reading, 23rd to the 29th. I'll see you in the next reading, take care for now, bye bye.